Um, today I will be showing you guys how to make your very own heart gradient wallpaper in Ibis Paint X. This secret has been gatekeeped, gatekeeped from many of us Ibis Paint X and Android users where they say you can only make this in uh, Procreate or Adobe Illustrator, however that's just simply not true. I've made this sort of wallpaper myself and it works perfectly fine and it's actually beautiful let me show you one of my one of my gradient wallpapers that i made so this is one of the wallpapers i made but you can of course go much more advanced than this you've got multiple colors of hearts surrounding it like this or this and um there was also this other one where you've got hearts inside hearts inside hearts which I want to try with you guys today so now that we're in the ibis paint app you can open my gallery and you can um, get your size of canvas out I think for the sake of this video I think I'm going to do a symmetry heart so you can just get a brush you can just change the thickness I want my background to be this nice baby pink and it's gonna look something like this Gonna, so that's my wallpaper okay now let's go in with our other pink this is a nice baby pink let's go like this no let's go like this yeah this heart is actually way better in my opinion okay now that we have our heart we can duplicate this layer and we can transform it We do actually have to change the colour of this, so to change the colour of one layer what you can do is, you can either press um, the magic wand and then select your layer and then you can get your, your brush and just change the colour from like that, you can do that actually no lie, <laughs> quick and then and then you would come over here remove selection area and then you can move this on top like that oh and then you can translate it like this or you could have just gone to fx filter and then you could change the colors from there i think this color is quite cute it reminds me of care bears <laughs> okay so then you just want to repeat the pattern we can come off the symmetry ruler and what you just have to do is merge all these layers I'm not gonna be merging the background because that's pretty pointless but here now we can just go to FX and blur as usual so as you can see very aesthetic we can also do Gaussian blur and we can also do zooming blur and we can also do moving blur and look at that don't you just love that I love that a lot can even change the direction but I think I'm fine with this go over the effect again and again until you're happy with it and I think I'm happy with it the way it was before but what you can also do to make it extra aesthetic is add a noise effect Ooh, wow that looks nice so anyway let's move <laughs> You go to noise and then you just adjust the noise levels until you're happy. I would go for grayscale but today I'm doing color because it doesn't have that annoying repeating pattern again and again. So that is the finished product. Let's export this, save as PNG and let's go over to my gallery and voila! This is a beautiful background for your phone or your tablet. So that's all for this video and I will see you guys in the next one